Engravings found in Jordan and Saudi Arabia appeared to match ancient megastructures known as desert gites. Massive prehistoric stone structures found in desert landscapes from Saudi Arabia to Kazakhstan have baffled archaeologists for decades. Each can stretch for up to a few miles, and resembles a kite with tail strings and overall shape. Recent studies have built a consensus that desert kites were used to trap and kill wild animal herds. The kites, in their entirety, are only visible from the air, said Remy Krasser, an archaeologist at the French National Center for Scientific Research. Dr. Krasser and his colleagues were overjoyed in 2015 when they found two stone monoliths with precise depictions of nearby desert kites in Jordan and Saudi Arabia. Engraved between 7,000 and 9,000 years ago, these representations are by far the oldest known to scale architectural plans recorded in history. They also highlight how carefully planned the desert kites may have been by the ancient peoples who relied on them. It's mind blowing, Dr. Krasser said, to know that they were able to have this metal conceptualization of very large spaces and to put that on a smaller surface. Archaeologists suspect that groups of animals such as gazelles followed these stone lines or were chased along them before being funneled into the enclosure, where hunters killed the animals, and used the strategically placed pits to trap those attempting to escape. Very quickly, the team recognized that these engravings match the shape and structure of kites seen nearby. In southeastern Jordan, for example, the tails curve as they converge into enclosures, a peculiarity also visible on the engraved stone. Mathematical models, do, indicated that the kites in the Jordan-Saudi region where the team worked were the closest match when researchers compared the geometry of the two engravings with a total of 69 kites from a variety of regions. Shape comparisons with such nearby kites also revealed that the depictions were to scale. The researchers inferred the ages of the engravings by using geological dating tools to determine how long ago the corresponding local kite structures were built.